In this lesson, I'm going to talk about monitoring the resource usage of your virtual machines. One thing I want to quickly point out is if I look at Task Manager on my Hyper-V host, the parent partition, I can see the amount of memory that's available. This memory in use includes all the memory used by virtual machines. But if I look at CPU, this is only the CPU being used by this parent partition, the host. This is not including CPU cycles used. See the VM CPU, I can look in Hyper-V Manager which is showing me CPU usage percentage, and indeed the amount of assigned memory. Virtual Machine Manager also gives this CPU average, and it can give me other information. Operations Manager, another part of System Center, can monitor it long-term as well. But there are a number of nice things we can actually do with performance counters. For example, I've created a little dashboard right here, where I'm monitoring the physical memory being used by all the different virtual machines on my host. I created another one that monitors the read and write bytes per second of all the different virtual hard disks that make up all my virtual machines. And another one here is monitoring the percent guest runtime. So the amount of CPU being used up by the virtual machines. This is very, very easy to do. If you just fire up performance monitor, and you do add, so I'm gonna remove that default one. There are many, many counters related to Hyper-V. And these are what you wanna look at to evaluate your Hyper-V environment. For example, I can see that Hyper-V virtual processor. I can see that percentage guest runtime. I'm gonna say all instances, add it. So it's gonna show me the percentage guest runtime for all of the virtual machines. Now I'm gonna change my view to be a histogram bar. And now I can easily see all of the different processor usage for all of the VMs in my environment. Notice VMs that have multiple virtual processors have multiple bars, one for each of the virtual procs. And there are really counters for every aspect, network, memory, storage, migration, traffic, everything you can think of. So take some time to look at these performance monitors. Beyond the performance monitors, maybe I want some sort of long-term tracking of resource utilization. Windows Server 2012 includes a new metering capability. So I turned metering on for one of my virtual machines earlier today. So I can see I did enable VM resource metering and then the virtual machine name. And the way this works is this will follow the virtual machine. Even if I moved this virtual machine to another Hyper-V host, this data would be kept. I wouldn't lose this. I can then do measure VM. I give it the name. And it's gonna show me the details about the traffic performed by that virtual machine. So this is the table view, but if I format it as a list instead, I get a bit more information. I can see how long I've been metering for, the average processor usage, and this is in cycles. This is not percentage, because percentage is only valid for a certain type of processor. Whereas if I measure it in cycles, well, that's gonna be consistent, even if I move between different Hyper-V hosts that may have had different capabilities. So it's showing you the average processor usage in cycles, the average memory usage, the maximum, the minimum, the amount of disk I have allocated, my average CPU, average RAM, min RAM, max RAM. So really these same values again, just with different value names. So it gives me some information on what I'm actually using within this virtual machine. And where this can be very useful is if you're hosting virtual machines for maybe different business units, I can then give them showback. I can show them the actual amount of resource they're using then maybe even do chargeback and actually charge them based on the utilization. Now, if I really am interested in that sort of showback chargeback, you probably are gonna be looking at things like System Center 2012, which has Service Manager that actually has chargeback and showback built in. It actually enables you to create pricing for the different resource type. For example, in my Service Manager implementation, I have a gold price sheet. If I look at this price sheet, I can actually see the price tab and notice that I can price unit values each of the different types of utilization. Storage, memory, CPU, is it highly available? Does it have a static IP? And then it has reports built in to actually then charge those various business units for the amount of resource they actually utilized. In summary, I can use resource metering in Hyper-V. I get information from solutions such as Operations Manager that can do trend analysis. I have Service Manager to use that information and create me billing type capabilities. 
And don't forget about Performance Monitor. That gives me great insight into my virtual machines and indeed my host. And that can actually be configured to write out to a log file for long-term storage and viewing and trending of my utilization. This concludes the lesson on monitoring and metering virtual machines.